Okay, let's wrap up. We got the Mount Rushmore of worst gifts to receive. Hank, I think your team won the last one, so you want to you want to decide the order again? Sure. Uh, we did win the last one, two in a row. Oh, congratulations, Hank! That's awesome. Thank you. Uh, let me just double check our list, make sure to see if we have a one-one. Mm. Mm, okay. Mm, yeah. Mm. All right, we'll go one, mm-hmm. and then we'll let Jake and Billy go second, and you guys can go mm-hmm. third. Okay. Cool. Great. I'm excited. I'm excited for this. I'm excited for a contentious Mount Rushmore. Also, reminder: Takeys Wednesday. Not to hype it up, but I'm hyping it up. It's the best takeies yet. All right. Go. Uh, the one one, we are going to go with a pet. Mm. Mm. Good pick. Any specific pet? Any specific pet? Because Just a dog any wouldn't animal. be so bad. Okay. No, a dog wouldn't be bad. I mean, any oh. animal that you have to take care of, it's like not a it's not something that Let's say you don't like the gift. You can, you know, pretend to like it and then kind of just forget about it. If you get an animal, like you have to take care of that animal. It doesn't matter so if it's a snake. doesn't matter if it's a dog. It doesn't matter if it's a cat. could be a so, cow. could be a chicken. A cow. So yeah. should, we put, should we put on the list uh, so uh, a pet and then in parentheses, i.e. a dog? Yeah. No, I, that's a I sociopath think pick. You said oh, you could okay. put I.E. a cat. You could put I.E. a cat. That yeah, works. but you oh, said, okay. but you specifically said dog, which I thought was interesting. You said dog, yeah, yeah. Did I specifically say dog? Well, you were well, asking yeah. about dog, dog and you said, yeah. and you said, yeah, dog. A dog be a bad gift. Yeah, I believe you said a dog, and I said yes. Any animal could be a dog, could be a cat, could be a snake. Right. The be first chicken. one you said was dog. Um, I agree, actually. Like I had, I had bird on my list. I think a bird would be a bad gift, or a cat. That would be a bad yeah, gift. Yeah, cat. A I'd dog. put on cat on our list. Yeah, I would be. Me personally, I would be pumped to get a dog. Billy wanted to get me, me a dog the day after Leroy died, and it was probably going to be too soon. But I still probably would have been like, "Oh, sweet, it's a cute puppy." You usually learn to yeah. love the animal, animal gifts, and then you're like, "Oh, I can't believe," you know. Unless you're a sociopath. Yeah. Right, which Hank is. Um, no, okay, I love dogs. I just don't do you have like the ability them. to love Hank? Do you? Or? Mm. Yes, Billy. <laughs> okay, Billy and Jake, go ahead. Your your pick. Billy, you can start off. Uh, self help books, because not mm. only okay. are they a book that you're not going to read, it's a backhanded insult. Yeah, but eventually you learn to love to to help yourself. You know, once you actually read. Hey, them. remember when I got you the positive thinking book? Uh, no, you got me a link to an Amazon <laughs> website. But did you hate it? <laughs> I, you didn't send me it. You didn't give me I anything. Know, just you like texted me a link. Itself. Yeah, I, I opened up the page and then it was like, here, buy it. And I was like, I'm not going to buy it. But thanks, Billy. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's beautiful. All right, so self-help book. Um, yeah, PFT, I think I do. I think I okay. do because there's more into it. So I'll pick that and then you, you do this other one. Okay. All right. So our first two picks are uh, number one, uh, a gym membership, because it's the double double uh, like whammy of basically saying that you're fat and you need to get in shape, and then like the gift is you just have to go punish yourself at the gym. Um, a gym membership fucking sucks to give someone it, and to receive. It's giving you a chore that you have to do. Yeah. And Correct. that's, that's, that's a pain in the ass. Like, don't get me wrong. I, I like to hit the gym on my schedule. I don't want to feel like I'm beholden to anybody else on how much I use my gym membership. And then I certainly don't want to, re- chances are, if somebody's giving you a gym membership, they're also a member of that gym. And so then you're going to have to like see them in the gym and make small talk about the present. Mm-hmm. And then if you don't get strong and don't get in good shape, then it's like a slap in their face. It's like, oh, I guess yes. you're not using my present. I got you. Yeah, it's an insult gift that then has like just a lifespan of just torture behind it. That's our first pick. Any other, Hank, what you any think? comments from anyone? I mean, if you go to the gym, it's like not it. a bad one. But, Thanks, Jake. but if you go to the gym, you probably aren't getting a gym membership. True. Like you, yep. when you get a gym membership, that means you're probably out of shape and you're being told you're out of shape by the person who's giving you the gym or membership. Or sometimes you move That's actually a place. even a worse present. So if somebody got me yeah. a gym membership, I already have a gym membership. I would be like, I'm a real piece of shit because this person doesn't even think I go to the gym. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Double. There's no way to give someone a gym membership and have it be like, oh, that was a great exchange of gifts. Mm-hmm. Um, our okay. second pick, we're going to go 
homemade clothes. Mm -hmm. uh, it could oh, be a mitten. It could be a homemade sweater. Probably the worst of the bunch, in my opinion. Well, yeah, because it's, it's always it's always going to be itchy. Bill, you you Dude, cannot sounds like you hate your mom. There the is straight love. face. There is love in those. So you hate your mom and your grandma. Like, have you ever gotten a needlepoint gift? Like needlepoint gifts. My, my mom are the has most... never given me a sweater. <laughs> my mom Dude. would never do that. My mom is a much better gift than that. <laughs> I was recently. She would get me so like, who? Given a there's no there's no way in any world where giving someone a homemade clothing is better than giving them real clothing that's made that's like actually nice. Have you ever gotten a needle pointed belt with your name on it that they take like take, I certainly like, have months not. and years to put it, together? I, it, then you never that you've is never received you, real love. <laughs> that's something you're gonna look back and be like, I can't believe I wore that. I can well, guarantee you. But I can it, guarantee you. Okay. I mean, I think there's I a can, lot of people. I can with, guarantee you right now that I will never receive a needle pointed belt as a present. It, with my name on it. <laughs> like you're going to sleep away camp and they got to put your name on your underwear. No, no. So that in case you lose it, they know it's Billy's belt. I have a needle yeah. pointed. Why, why, <laughs> why would you want a needle point? But you're like walking around. You're like, yeah, see this thing that's designed to keep myself from exposing myself. It's got my name on it. So in case I forget <laughs> who I am. It's a cool pattern. Just it's me, down. Billy. You see that? Look, yeah, that's me, Billy. You see it on my belt? <laughs> There's a lot of love in needle in homemade clothes. I mean, maybe your family really, what are you making clothes. Those are actually you, – you, you're actually proving the point because the worst type of gifts are the ones that like – it's the thought that counts. No, I'd rather just – you give me cash. That's the best gift you can ever give someone. No one has ever been like, damn, I didn't want that cash. That's a fact. That's a fucking fact. All right, your guy's next pick. All right, I'm going to – we are going to go with uh, a card with no gift in it. So sometimes oh. you just get a card and you expect you see an envelope. It's yeah. Oh, some cash or a gift card. And it's just the card. You do the like, thing hey. where you open it up very carefully because a check yeah. might fall out the bottom. And <laughs> yeah, there's nothing, nothing in there. Yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> a great pick. That's a great pick. Yeah. Damn. Billy found it is... for what it's worth. <laughs> oh, geez. Sounds like just trouble in paradise over there. <laughs> yeah. Billy, what's he did? In? He he thumbed that down. Yeah. That's a great pick, Jake. Because like you. you're right, when you open up I a think card, it's the best you're like, pick so okay, far. yeah, gift certificate, some cash. I, like the only thing, I honestly, like even a check. I didn't get what he was saying. I thought he just meant a card without a gift, like a separate gift. I didn't know he meant like not money in it. So that was like the text type bad communication. Card with no gift in it is what I wrote. Down. I know, but I, yeah. I didn't realize what you meant by gift. This team's falling right. apart. No, we're doing great. Yeah, we, have some pick. great picks on the board. we have some great picks on the board. <laughs> okay. We got right. more to come. Hank, you got your, your team. Oh, wow. I'm excited. Yeah. Can't wait. <laughs> Bart Scott. <laughs> Billy, what state are you in? Denial. <laughs> <laughs> Pathological. Um, <laughs> All right. I, I, this is where I, I'm in like, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Flush more of appetizers mode. Uh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot. There's a lot of picks out there. Hey. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll go with an undersized article of clothing. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, like, yeah. It's, it's homemade, like and they didn't know your body dimensions. No, but more so, <laughs> like if you, you know, it's it's much harder to return because let's say that person has a receipt, and then you have to be like, if it's a, it's a family member, you have to be like, hey. Do you have this receipt? Because I'm going to go return it because you don't even know my size. And then it's like super awkward. So you usually just take it and then never wear it. And then it's just a bad gift. Yeah. I, no, I, I think that's a very good pick. I For about like 10 years, I had some close family members that would uh, – they would all, always buy me like a, a quarter zip or a pullover or a button-up shirt. And every single time, they would get me a large. And every single time, I would be like, I'm a medium. And they just refused to accept the fact that I was small. <laughs> They, 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 it was like them they burying their head in the They'll sand. Like, into no, it. no son, no son of mine is a beta who wears a medium. <laughs> it's a large. You'll grow. Trust me. Just give it some time. And I had to tell them every time. It's like, nope, nope, still not there yet. So now I've got. A, I, I had a closet that was just filled with really nice shirts that were slightly too big for me because my family couldn't accept the fact that I was five foot eight. That's brutal. Brutal. It's tough. Yeah. I definitely have, have gone the, uh, yeah, people getting like an XL. And it's like, eh, you haven't heard. I'm, I'm a 2X now. <laughs> Things have changed. 
Your boy's doing well. That used to be that used to be the sign of wealth back in the day. Uh, okay, Hank, Team Hank, next one. Ooh, they're struggling. I just don't know what to say. I feel like we'll go with Papa Diaz. <laughs> Whoa! That's fucked up. Shots fired. Well, it's like hypothetically, it's your Damn. birthday. Oh. You and your girlfriend just broke up. You know, you need some support from the boys. Everyone forgets it's your birthday, and then they order papadillas and make you eat them, even though you hate them. Now, had you that, told that us would be a that would be a bad gift. Well, hypothetically, the boys supported the f- ever living fuck out of you um, for an entire summer, and hypothetically, they also were playing the papadillas commercial nonstop in our face. And hypothetically, the person you're hypothetically talking about might be a double XL as previously stated. And Papa Diaz was the only way to fill uh, the void inside of his cavernous belly. Hypothetically. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> it, I mean, it, they weren't bad. Where did this come from? I, oh, I, they I, were I, terrible. I thought as a group, we all agree that they, there were some of them that were like above average. Yes. Yes. No, they the were so, with, so, so bad. I mean, have we, did we ever get them again? Did we ever bring them up again? Would you ever even want to get them again? But Hank, no. what no, you but fail to understand is that if you, if you advertise something during sports enough and you put it in front of our eyes on TV, we are going to have to buy it at some point to try it out. Yeah. There's like right. there's yeah. A yeah. Any, literally Coke. any, yeah. literally any other night. Fine. Dude, I oh, still I go to Buffalo Wild Wings. Guy. No, I'm not. It was just like, I don't know. No, I felt was, bad. Was, They're disgusting. Yeah. Thank you, Jake. The guy who has lettuce on his steak and cheese and <laughs> diarrheas for a week. That's who you're going to take this from? He looked at Papa D and was like, oh, no, I, I should check myself in the hospital. You yeah. guys, I, 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 I won't forget it. The, the, this kid who was like an intern at the time, I didn't even know his name at the time. We were in the gambling cave like four hours later after we'd eaten the Papa Diaz, And he comes in and was like, Happy birthday, Hank. And that you and you guys were like silent for like five seconds. You were like, oh. <laughs> so that means the Papa Diaz weren't even a birthday. Yeah, then you were so like, you sorry for ordering Papa about. Diaz. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Hank, you remember when I when I brought in two pieces of cake for myself on your birthday? And you were like, oh, <laughs> yep. you got cake. And I was like, yeah, I do. It's it's for me. And totally forgot it was your birthday. And then I had to go get you cake the next day. Yeah, it's a fun, it's a fun recurring theme. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, listen, yeah. the, pa- the papadillas weren't that bad. And the fact that Jake slammed papadillas makes me actually like them more because Jake went into a TGI Fridays and called the police, being like, there's water on the tables in here. Jake's, Jake's mm-hmm. taste in mm-hmm. food, while, while it's healthy, much healthier than ours, is also quite elitist at times. <laughs> yes, you're on the wrong side of history here. If Jake's on your side when it comes to food, you're on the wrong side of history. No, I treat myself on the weekends. What do you oh, treat yeah, yourself? What do you, What's a you treat? Get, he no, gets lettuce, steak, and steak and cheese. I had Colony, <laughs> Colony Grill last night on the drive home. Not even hot oil. <laughs> yeah. I, I, Jake, yeah exactly. Jake orders a, a Coke diesel. Full <laughs> sugar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pours <laughs> half of it out, but he yeah. still ordered it. Uh, okay. Uh, team Billy and Jake, uh, we're, this, is wh- this is when you're coming back with the thing that we're, we're waiting for. So let's do it. All right. Bill, should I say Indian the one you want giving. me to say? Nope. Indian giving a gift <laughs> that gets taken away. <laughs> what? <laughs> Jesus like Christ! Indian oh giving. my God! I don't that's think you can say that. For? I that's no because it's a, <laughs> okay. Like a gift that's given and then taken back. Yeah. And taken yeah. away. I don't think people say that anymore. Is that's that not okay what they say. Yeah, that's like a Marlins man. No, Marlins wait. man says that. It's called it's called commanders giving. Yeah. I'm looking on the Wiktionary for it. Informal, derogatory, offensive. Yeah, yeah to, the giving person some- giving, to the person giving the <laughs> no, gift. No, no, Billy. It's offensive no. to the person yeah. giving the gift. Right. But it's not. Exactly. But it's talking about how land was given and then taken away from Native Americans. It's not offensive to Native Americans. So why is it called – why wouldn't it be called American giving? Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's about – Would it be colonial really. giving? Okay, the history behind the phrase don't – can we just bleep out every time I say that if it is offensive? We no, need the graphic. No, no yeah, no, no, no. That's I said, your pick. I said That's do you think pick. that'll play on the graphic? And he said if they put Indian giving. Yeah, what are, the, <laughs> <laughs> what are the most – okay, wait, wait. This is the shot you called, by the what way. It's meant- this is Babe Ruth calling his shot and then like a little dribbler to third base. <sighs> oh, wait. Oh, wait, I thought it was – 
<laughs> yeah. All oh, right, here we go. Where fuck. did the concept of Indian giving really come from? The answer to that is what white settlers thought was rudeness and a lack of generosity. The concept of an Indian gift or Indian giver traces roots back to at least the 1700s. Thomas Hutchison defined an Indian gift as a present for which an equivalent return is expected. So this is, <laughs> I, it's, it's to an Indian, the giving of gifts was an extension of the system of trade and a gift was expected to be reciprocated with something of equal value. Europeans, upon encountering this practice, misunderstood it and considered it uncouth and impolite. So, yes, it's I an think, insult. I, I'm pretty sure they used this uh, like as a joke Michael Scott shouldn't have used in like the first season of The op <laughs> o Office when he said the N-word. No, That's how long thought, it's been like, hey, you don't say that. I thought it meant like like the Europeans gave the Indians like no, reservations no, no, and took them no, away. No, no. It's the, All right. So just make sure the graphic says Billy's pick in parentheses next to this one. So we just know oh, it's Billy. Is this who really this. that bad? Okay, so our next pick. <laughs> um, all right, PFT, what do we want also, to do? That's we know not a our... gift, but, you know, whatever. Well, Bill, yeah. all Billy had to do was not use a racial slur in his I Mount Rushmore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he almost didn't. He almost didn't. Um, all right, you PFT, go with your... what are we thinking? You want to go with yours and I'll go with mine? Yeah, okay, wait. So oh, what was... Shit. Oh, okay. Dude, 300 years ago, Billy, that plays. Like, you, you don't worry about it. You're only a couple. I misunderstood. I thought it had to do with the cruelness of. So I'm going to do that one to get. You're an idiot. Did I just emphasize? Yep, I like that one as our last pick. But what should we do for our third pick? Should we go more straight down the line? Like um, you can. Uh, e you can either I, do. I think we. I think we do that one. Okay, I just yeah. did that one. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Giving someone a tie. Everyone's oh, given their father a tie. Just a terrible gift to give and receive. It's basically like, hey, you're trapped in a fucking uh, in a job you hate. Here's a here's a like a, a, a semi expensive thing you can wear to change it up from Monday to Tuesday, so you know what the difference between the two days are. Because every other day melts together. A tie yeah. is a terrible gift. And if somebody gives me a tie, they're pretty much saying, "Here's something you can wear to court." Yeah. Yeah, it's just it, it's 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 another one of those insult gifts where it's like, hey, we can't think of any anything you like outside of the fact that you just have to go to work five days a week. So here it is. Here's a tie. Now, yeah. I, I would like to hear from Jake because I'm assuming he's going to be like, actually, it's a great gift. I mean, I think it depends on the profession. Like if you're someone <laughs> like me who you wear a parcel, a tie. Yeah. yeah, it was a podcaster. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it depends. Like. If you're a public figure in like politics where you wear ties 24 seven, then it probably means more. But if you're a podcaster, when you never have to wear one, it's like, what am I going to do with this? So I think it depends on the person. I think that giving a tie, receiving a tie as a gift is a less than 1% chance the person appreciates it. That's how low of a hit rate it is. Mm -hmm. um, our last pick is a giant decorative horse filled with Greek soldiers waiting to ransack your city. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty bad gift. Really bad gift. Pretty bad gift. And you're, uh, it's also insulting to be like, hey, you're so dumb that you're going to think that this is a peace offering, thinking that you kicked our ass in war, and next thing you know, Troy will fall. That's Great offensive gift. to Trojans, PFT. Yeah. Oh, you're you offensive to Trojans because you your, dad, your dad should have worn one. Yeah, how about God damn. Oh, no, that's offensive to all the Trojans who were slaughtered by the Greeks in that. Oh, tragedy, you're you're so. actually gonna come back from that? You're gonna keep yeah. going with yours after PFT did that to you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, shout out to all the, all our listeners from Troy. Uh yeah. no offense in, in my last pick, but I mean even you have to understand. Also, like honorable I'll wait for my honorable mention, but it's kind of related to that. All right, go ahead, uh, Team Jilly. Let's see what other uh, nationality or ethnicity they can offend with their last pick. <laughs> I will be writing they? a blog. Yeah. I will be writing a blog it's on why game, you Jake. shouldn't use that term, and it will be long and informative, and we'll set the record straight. Okay, go ahead. Your last pick. Uh, our last pick is going to be an intervention. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, I kind of see where Jake's going with this because at the end of the intervention, their gift is like they give you the trip to whatever, uh, whatever like inpatient uh, therapy place that you have to go to, like a clinic that that you get to spend time in that will be paid for you. But it is, on the other hand, Jake, it's actually the greatest gift of love of all. It's true. I you're might be training your myself. Life. Yeah. Did- I'm on the trade block. Oh, you're you're putting yourself on the trade block now. I I was thinking like the the last time we gave an intervention, the person was like, good. I actually now have way more time to blog all the things I wanted to (laughs) blog. So it could go either way. Yeah. (laughs) Well said. Well said. Okay. Uh, Last pick, Tank. I think it's been. I mean, you guys, you guys are running away with this. Uh, yes. We will go with a book. Good one. Mm. Yep. Good pick. Had like it on a self help book. Uh, <laughs> no, just any book. Like any book that's like, oh, I read this. I think you might like it. Because then you know, it's similar to gym membership. It's like you have to probably read it, or they're going to bring it up next time. Like, hey, did you read that? And it's like, no. But. I'm going to like it's just it just it just creates a uh, a future awkward situation unless you take the time to actually read the book and although people in my family love books but me personally not yeah would not be a good gift it's it's the book you get your dad on like Father's Day because you're like oh my dad likes sports let me get him this book about Jackie Robinson like that or like let me get him this book about uh, uh like you know like name any like sporting event that happened like before 1970 you're like oh here's a book about muhammad ali or babe ruth and it's just you're just giving him fucking homework to do streaming Mm. really fucked up the dvd game because like that was such an easy easy gift yeah like everyone likes movies you can just get you know go to walmart get a couple dvds maybe throw in a funny one there like a like a two dollar one that's a joke but like also with a good movie but you just can't do that anymore. Yeah. I'd, I'd say the one exception to the book gift being bad is if somebody gives you, oh, the places you'll go, because people only wait to break that one out when they're like super proud of you for something that you just did. If you see, oh, the places you'll go being given to somebody at like a birthday party, it's like that person's got their life together. They're doing big things. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Chicken soup for the soul or whatever the fuck. What was that book called? Yeah. There was like a bunch of different chicken soups. Yeah. Um, okay, should we do honorable mentions before we end the show and, and Billy's career? Do you want do you yeah, want the two that exactly. I was gonna pick? I I I, I opted out because uh because of the team game and I, I kind of felt like these were gonna be bad, but the two I would have won if we were doing solos, I probably would have done gift cards and scratch tickets. Mm. So I like scratch tickets. Are great. Yeah, scratch yeah. Game tickets are great. Gift what if you lose? Scratch tickets are great though, because everyone I mean it's a non gift. Yeah, but uh, gift cards, I kind of agree with because it's like you now have to go like just give cash. That's where uh, the cash comes in. I think both of those. I think both of those are are give cash. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right. What else did we have? Uh, I had um, giving a two year old uh, a PS five and Hitman three, which Stu Finer did for my son. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was <laughs> that was a tough gift, uh, but the thought that was a real true thought that counts by by Stu. Because he gave like my son a bunch of age appropriate toys, and then it was a new, a brand new PS5, and like Spider Man, Hitman Three, and like NBA 2K. I was like, he's two, but again, thought that counts because I love Stu. I had um, buying someone else's son or daughter a drum set mm-hmm. or like a trumpet, a really loud instrument, being like, here, this is going to ruin your life with this gift that I'm giving to your son or daughter. I had. Um, if they get you like an intricate board game that only they enjoy that you've never played before. And they're like, Hey, I really like this game. I think you will too. And then it takes like two days to learn the rules and then another three days to play the game. Don't like that. And then I had a scale, just a scale is a bad gift too. Mm. Yep. Yep. I had also on their uh, candle or cologne, like telling someone else, here's a smell. I like, that's just, it's a terrible gift to get. Like, here's a smell, use it. Um, the uh oh a court your quarterback throwing an easy pick six terrible gift to hat to that is a gift yeah yeah, yeah when you when you're mm-hmm. like oh that was a gift for the other team also like your goalie <laughs> giving up a, a, a cheapy that's a fucking terrible feeling they call I kind of wish I had said this I wish I had said this one for the graph just so it was on the graphic because memes texted this and me and Liam were just perplexed but he said dish soap then telling the person I know how much you love to do the dishes ooh yeah like a vacuum mm. cleaner 
Not not a great yeah. gift. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I one time with almost did that with like a Roomba, and then I was like, the uh, the visual on this does not look good. Yeah, yeah. Toothpaste. Um, toothpaste. Yeah, toothpaste. 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 Bad gift. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yep. Floss. Giving someone floss. Mm. I actually, this was something I I had the like. This was a, a real time like I'm fucking old because I remember when I was younger. I got socks and I was like, this sucks. And then I, I was going to write it down. I was like, if I got socks today, I'd be pumped. Yeah. So, but socks is that's actually not, but like when you're a kid, socks and underwear, like, yeah, mm-hmm. terrible. Yeah. When you're a kid, like every, every gift is, you know, possibly the, your favorite thing ever. And then when it's just socks, you're like, fuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then once, yeah, once, once you get older, socks and underwear are life essentials. Yep. Along the same lines of the Trojan horse, uh, the Statue of Liberty was low key a pretty shitty thing for the French to do to us. They just made this giant sculpture out of bronze. And it's like, here, you have to clean this every day or else it's going to turn green. It's a big fucking woman. And you ha- it's so big that you have to find an island to put it on. And oh, yeah, it's also going to make you have to fight on our side in every war that happens from now until the end of eternity. So. I mean, in what in some ways it was it ended up being an effective gift by the French, but low key, I think it was a bad gift. It's literally a lawn ornament for a country. That's kind of sick, yeah. though. I think that's yeah. kind of sick. Like who? I don't like the Statue of Liberty slander. I like that. That I, big was, lady, she just she's freedom, she, baby. You see her and you're like, damn. I think she's home. overrated. Actually, that, that's crazy. I, what communist? Yeah, but uh, also like who who thinks to like. It's just one of those things that exists. Like I never even think about the Statue it's, of Liberty. I live like what, right what, by what, it. what national monuments do you like? Yeah. The PFT? I mean, we're, I we're like doing Mount Rushmore. Is that problematic? Like Mount, no, I, no, I didn't say it was problematic. I just said, like, if you're going to give us a giant Overrated. statue of a woman, at least put some cake in her backside. At least, like, put some low cut on her. She's just a little treat for the you fellas. You, haven't, over. you, haven't, looked at the, you <laughs> haven't looked at the Statue of Liberty. How many beers to the Statue of Liberty? Dude, it's freedom. Back then? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah she, back she then, that's the thing. Like, you have to clean it every day. It's it, it's the worst possible material. Like if it was still like shiny, that would be sick. But no, it's green now. Green Two is casts. cool. Green makes it cool. You don't see green like things like that. You don't <laughs> see Fiona. Big... Who? Fiona from Shrek. Yes, yeah, sure. Oh. Kermit. Okay, there we go. We named green some green so, things. <laughs> but wait, if the Statue of Liberty is so great, how many times have you guys been to been to visit her? Multiple times, uh, yeah. Once or twice. I also <laughs> I see it God. like Only every day once. on a walk on my walk. Like she's fucking cool, dude. That, I, I, that's America. That is America. Me and Trent went in like 2013. It's messed up. You must not have relatives in like Ellis Island, PFT. <laughs> oh, I don't damn! Know. Roasted. Damn. <laughs> I don't know where my parents, where my weird, relatives came from. One of the weirdest <laughs> roasts ever, bro. <laughs> You're so fucking lame. Billy's ancestors actually were were from here, so that's why it's not problematic for him to say that. Yeah, <laughs> actually, that's true. I do have more than Elizabeth Warren, but not enough to He's, rep yeah. that. Yeah. All right. I got, there we I'm, go. You're 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 Brokahannes. Yeah. 